Welcome to Morgellons Discussion and Microscopy Videos with your host, Jeremy Murphy. Hey, what's up, YouTube? And thanks once again for tuning into our show, Morgellons Disease Discussion and Microscopy Videos. I'm your host, Jeremy Murphy, and Today I want to talk about Morgellons and how it is not a fungi. Many accredited professional researchers have studied the various phenomena associated with Morgellons disease and have determined that the fibers themselves are in fact composed of human keratin and collagen. In the 2016 study, Morgellons disease of filamentous borreliol dermatitis, staining of embedded filaments with cockleflower white produced negative results demonstrating that filaments are not cellulose as found in cotton, linen, or other plant-based textile fibers, or chitin as found in fungal cells and insect exoskeletons. In 2012, the research article Morgellons Disease, a Chemical and Light Microscopic Study, and it states, quote, Our study demonstrates that Morgellons disease is not delusional and that the skin lesions with unusual fibers are not self-inflicted or psychogenic. We provide chemical, light, microscopic, and immunohistological evidence that the filaments associated with this condition originate from human epithelial cells supporting the hypothesis that the fibers are composed of keratin and products of keratinocytes. So if we know that these fibers are not composed of fungus, what is causing keratinocytes to produce them? Biopsies of Morgellons patients' skin samples reveal that they are commonly associated with borreliol infection. The 2015 study exploring the association between Morgellons disease and Lyme disease, identification of Borrelia burgdorferi in Morgellons disease patients, Spirochetes identified as Borrelia strains by polymerase chain reaction PCR, and or in situ DNA hybridization were detected in 24 out of 25 of our study patients. Another study in 2018, clinical evaluation of Morgellons disease in a cohort of North American patients reveals that of 1,000 seropositive Lyme disease patients, 60 were diagnosed with Morgellons disease. All 60 patients were seropositive for Borrelia burgdorferi infection. So to recap, we have research that demonstrates what exactly Morgellons fibers are comprised of and what they are not comprised of. Morgellons fibers are made of human keratin. They are not made of fungus. And we've also determined that Morgellons disease patients have an association with the Lyme bacteria. But what does that mean? How does the Lyme bacteria cause the Morgellons symptoms? And only up until recently, we didn't have any idea. In December of 2017, the study Co-Culture of Human Fibroblasts and Borrelia burgdorferi enhances collagen and growth factor mRNA. What the study demonstrates is that in a co-culture of fibroblast cells and Borrelia bacteria, the fibroblast will produce more collagen, up to four times as much collagen than uninfected fibroblast cells. This was the first time we got real evidence that Borrelia bacteria impact the way skin cells produce their proteins in that they increase the amount they produce and the rate at which they are produced. This lends clear evidence to how the Lyme bacteria could possibly create the Morgellons fibers. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website, www.morgellonssurvey.org. Information that has been peer reviewed and often in a blind controlled manner. If you like this video, hit that like button down below. Share your comments so we can discuss this. Subscribe and hit the bell icon so you can get future updates for new videos. And visit our Patreon page www.patreon.com slash Morgellons. We're writing a book called Real Morgellons, and we'd love for you to be a part of that process.